The vaccine is expected to arrive in Namibia anytime, and the task force is working on a rollout plan soon to be announced. Namibia has secured 20% of the vaccination, which will be rolled out to those most vulnerable to the virus, such as health workers and the elderly. These vaccines were really, they went through very, very, the same safety procedures that our traditional vaccines went through. Um, it's probably because, it be, not just because of the vaccine, because even about COVID, a lot of uh, conspiracies were circulating, not just about the vaccine. But I can assure you, once the vaccines that are currently uh, being administered, I'm sure everybody's following the international news, they are safe. There was no shortcuts taken with these vaccines. It's just like our other vaccines that we are giving to our children, and not just to children, there's other vaccines also that adults uh, normally get. What you want to reach with the vaccine is actually immunity. Immunity means in a layman's language is actually protection against the effect of the virus. That you, once you get the virus, that it doesn't progress into any illness, and if it does, cause a bit of an illness, it doesn't progress into an illness which is actually going to end up putting you in intensive care or dying. Once the vaccine is rolled out, the public is still expected to follow COVID-19 precautionary measures until the country achieves an 80% vaccination target. For the first couple of months, until we have reached that number, that magic number that we will still decide is it 60% of the population or 80%. We will have to continue wearing the mask and do the physical distancing. The public is also urged to desist from discouraging people to take the vaccine. When these clubs are circulating, um, people that are reading them and believing it, do they try just to go one step further? to verify the credentials of that person who is circulating that information. And then secondly, um, if somebody plays something on social media, do you really just believe it without asking some few questions? The COVID-19 hotline will continue to operate when the vaccine is rolled out to allow individuals experiencing any side effects to call and get necessary help. Selima Henok, NBC News. Ventuk.